What's up everybody? High Temp here with High Temp Fishing. You guys probably know me from High Temp Gaming. I did this channel to uh, do something a little bit different. I like to fish a lot, so I'm hoping um, that we could, you know, have a little bit of fun here, catch some fish, learn in the process, as well as maybe show you guys some of the techniques that I use to fish out here, you know, in the Florida Keys. Um, so for, you know, the expectations from this channel, let's just have fun with it. You know, I'm not really expecting nothing crazy from it. Just want to have fun um, and fish a little bit, you know, just have fun catching fish. And we're going to be doing a lot of uh, catch cleans and cooks, um, a lot of catch and release, you know, and it's just going to be a, an array of different species with different techniques that we use out here and that I primarily like to use. So, um, again, my name is Chris. If you guys don't know me, um, I do have another channel. It's High Temp Gaming. Um, and, you know, I just want to do this channel just to have fun and do some fishing. So, um, let's get to it. For uh, today, I actually got a, uh, a bucket full of pilchards here. I was able to get out early in the morning. I probably got, I don't know, a couple dozen worth of uh, live pilchards here. Um, I got out this morning early and I went uh, casting. I got both my rods here. I got a couple different ones, but I didn't bring nothing really heavy because I'm, I'm going to be fishing out a bunch. Number five here, just pitching underneath where that, you know, deeper, uh, deeper hole is where all the mangroves typically sit. Um, and, you know, got my tackle box. I got my... Uh, ice chest because you know i like to take home fish and eat them so hopefully if we can catch some uh, keepers here we're definitely going to take them home and make some uh we'll make some fried snapper sandwiches so let's uh get to it let's have some fun let's see if we can catch some fish so you can see down here this is primarily where all the snapper will be kind of along uh the overseas highway here um and today we, it's a really really it's a really high tide right now um with all the winds and water we've been getting you know the water levels are definitely a lot higher um typically you can see some of these rocks down here depending on the day but usually the snapper will be like down here um and again you want to do 10 inches or more we're going to go for something around 12 13 14 inches you know to make some really good snapper sandwiches so um i'll tell you and i give you an idea of what i'll be doing here so i have this rod set up i'm actually going to be um taking off the swivel the, the swivel here cutting here and i'm gonna add a, a hook right here so i can have this weight freely moving um and we can go ahead and get ourselves some you know a little bit of a better chance at uh at catching some of these fish we'll be able to feel them when they strike and and just uh we'll be using a three aught circle hook or maybe a number two circle hook that'll make it a little bit easier to uh you know to, to set the hook when they go running with it it's ideal to not you don't really want to pull on your uh you don't want to set the hook hard like if you're fishing for bass you're just going to pull it right out of their mouth so you just want to let them run with it a little bit and then it'll kind of set itself that's the uh luxury of using these circle hooks we got one oh these good size definitely the size we're looking for right here sizable this is perfect this will make for a good snapper sandwich right here Oh, he hooked him. See, he hooked himself. Awesome. Let's uh, measure him. It's a good size looking fish. He is 11 inches, a little bit smaller, but definitely a keeper. We'll put him here in the uh, in the cooler. We'll try to catch one more for Andre, my wife. She loves snapper sandwiches, so get the waters out of the way. All right, little guy. Perfect. Let's catch another one like that. A jellyfish is floating down there. Big old little jellyfish. Yep. Fantastic. Not what I wanted to catch, but great. 
He's gonna cut that mono off, I think. No way I could bring him up here. Come on. Everything loves pilchards. That's for sure. Hopefully it'll come right off. You guys can see him right here. Yep. All right. Thanks for giving me my stuff back, minus my uh, weighted hook. I don't lose everything. Yeah, with it that size, you really don't want to bring them up here unless you have a uh, a net or some sort. Yeah, I got a little black tip shark. Awesome. Don't wrap around the line. All right, buddy, let's get you up and over. All right. You stop moving. All right, let's try to get our hook back. Let go. All right. Nice little black tip. If you ask me. Just get him back in the water. There he goes. All right, people, this is going to be lunch. We're going to fillet these up. Good old mangrove snapper and make some uh, fish sandwiches. Lightly batter them and we'll fry them. See you in a bit. All right, so while the oil is heating up, I've got my batters ready. I'm gonna use some New Orleans style fish fry. It's pretty good, I mean, I've used it in the past, I like it. And then some egg batter right here, and we're gonna get it going. All right, we got the oil nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put our fillets in there. Let it cook off for a few minutes. These are gonna be delicious. All right, so while that fries, I'm gonna go ahead and get all my, I got all some of my prep work done. I already cut the avocados, the tomatoes. I got some portobello mushroom there, some bok choy, some romaine lettuce and onions. I'm gonna chop up the, uh, the mushrooms and I am going to saute those with some garlic. And then I got a special sauce here. It's not really special. It's actually ketchup, mayonnaise and mustard. It's super good though. Um, and it's gonna taste delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sandwich. Portobello, mangrove snapper, just caught that about an hour and a half ago. Mozzarella cheese, onion on a bagel, and I gotta put my secret sauce right on top. There it is guys, with the secret sauce. Put the bread right on top. And we got ourselves one serious sandwich. Boom. All right, guys, so this is the final step. Enjoy your catch. When you're out here in the Keys, you eat what you catch. Wow. Mmm. All right guys, so that concludes a little short series videos. We went out this morning around 7.35 with a mission to catch some mango snapper. We caught a few of them, fried them up, threw them in an incredible sandwich. Guys, hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy this. I'll see you on the next one.